Okay, this time, especially since we have the wind blowing the way we are, I'm going to play a little bit of a trick on Ellie. So, a lot of times, dogs will get into the habit of assuming something's back in the car. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the front of the car and see if she catches it. This is a really good way to make sure that your dog starts searching from the moment you say seek. So, I'm going to put it up in the front here. Okay, so it's right there, really close to the left-hand side of the bumper. The only way she's going to get this is if she starts searching from moment number one. And like I said, uh, we do this a lot of times with dogs to make sure that they start seeking from moment number one. They don't go, oh, it's it's never there. You, you want to teach them that there is always a possibility of where it's at. You want to teach them where you say seek, they seek. So I'm going to go get Ellie. dispersing everywhere because it's it's a tunnel in there so she was up under the other side of the car up under the middle side of the car and then she finally got up over here she was even here in the back of the well which is very close to where the source of, of the odor was but the odor was in a pocket right in front right in the front bumper so i i wait did what we call waiting her out making her go to source before she finally got her reward so um, that is the beginning of car. That's what that's what you'll look like when you're done with cars. I just wanted to give you kind of a teaser, kind of keep you motivated, and um, we'll get the car, the actual car video, here in a little little bit for you.